So here's another flight where I'm pushing out of line of sight. Um, I'm running 1,000 milliwatts, two omnis, and two triple feed patches on the uh, goggles. And you see this hill, this little mound up here. You see it blocks the view behind it. And so the very first thing I'm going to do here is fly low over this hill and then drop down a little bit onto this old brush covered road cut and I'm all out of line of sight here. You can see the signal strength dropped although the bit rate's still pretty high um, but all I don't actually regain line of sight until about halfway through this little stretch here. Right about here line of sight comes back and so then you see the signal strength went back up to three but here I'm going to turn left get into this again another old road cut and this one you can see the signal strength dropped all the way down to one but the bit rate's still holding at 25.4 so you can see that they don't always follow each other focus mode makes it a little hard to turn left here because it's it's sort of obscuring my view but once I do I'm fine and then as I come up here I immediately turn right so as to put more trees and um, and ultimately my goal is to put some of the ridge between the quad and home. And you can see here as I come up along here I've still got at least clear line of sight and then right there I'm starting to drop behind it. Of course here it's completely blocked for a bit. There's little dips in the signal strength and bit rate. Um, here I'm sort of coming in and out of line of sight and it seems to handle that just fine, keeps the video smooth. As I come up on this rocky spine and a little bit here, here I'm just out of the on the edge of line of sight. Um, and then as I come up on this rocky spine, I finally decided to just go ahead and fly behind it. And so I'm pretty much flying right at the base of these rocks and they're blocking the view back. You can see that the bit rate drops but it's still holding pretty smooth. Signal drops a little bit more right there. I kind of felt that as a stutter. And now here you can see these big huge rocky cuts. These are about 10 feet wide. Each of those slabs is probably six feet thick and then there's rock and earth on the other side of the the left side one. Um, but again totally flyable. Here I turned right and I lost control. The video was fine. Lost control and then I disarmed and lost the, the video there. So here I'm going to do a, another quick flight, except it's going to be a little different uh, bit. I'm, I'm speeding it up here. The first part of the flight's all the same as the last one. Actually, it ha this one happened before the last one. And uh, so same, same route, except I flew it a little higher, whereas the next flight I flew much lower and got more of the ridge in there. And then as I come up here to the cuts, we'll slow it down here right here. And I've been through these cuts quite a lot. Uh, I can't go any lower there because there's a little dead tree at the bottom, but on other flights I sometimes go low through the cut on the left. Um, so here's where I dropped on the little to the right on the previous flight shown in the video. Uh, here I'm shooting this little gap in the tree, which is always fun to do with HD. This big rock on the left blocks the signal right here, and then I'm back in line of sight as I go along this wall. Um, but I'm going to turn around here and drop, purposely drop, out of line of sight. Um, and so if you look back at the, at the fields as I come back around here, soccer field's kind of directly in front of me and I drop out of line of sight right there. And you see the bit rate drops way, way down. But it didn't actually skip too much. I think there's signal reflected off the rocks. That big rock again on the right blocks it. And then... For the last part of this flight, I'm going to head back out to the um, to the south at the this little structure here. The, this old I forget what it is, some sort of rock, some sort of chute, mining chute, is about 660 meters out. So here I'm probably about 700. And then as I turn back, I'm actually sort of headed back home, dying a little bit. Right about here, you see there's a little hill on the left side of center. I'm completely out of sign, line of sight right there. You see the bit rate drop down, but I'm still chugging away. Um, it could be reflecting the signal off the power lines and poles behind me. I don't know, but it was completely out of line of sight there. Um, and that was about 500, four to 500 meters out. And then coming back here, um, you can see my 
a little black truck over on the right there and I'm gonna fly again behind the hill here um, when I fly back here with analog and 2.4 either I lose the video signal or I lose the lose the 2.4 control or both and the quad usually just drops and I've done that accidentally a few times um, here I'm flying the R9 M light at 100 milliwatts so the control seems to do okay other than that last flight where it dropped at the top um, and then the fun thing here, this little this little knob is I can just fly all around it, even if I happen to go behind it, like here. So right here, I'm completely out of line of sight, and I just keep going. It doesn't doesn't even care. Um, so it's just fun to be able to play at distance, you know, 150, 200 yards out. Um, and then I think I made one little pass behind the hill again just for the heck of it and then uh, I come up on the end of the flight here but it's it's really fun to be able to pretty much just fly wherever I want to go um, I still have to be aware of line of sight so I don't put the entire mountain um, between me and the quad but but you know I don't have to worry about little things <laughs> like rocks and whatnot